I brought the south side back. I brought the south side back. Who the fuck back. anyone who got a problem with that? I said that I brought the south side back. I brought the south side back. Yeah, two players got to stay down. Representing that south side of town. My enemies, we got to stay paid. Then the top down, son, is the way. Yo, yeah, it's killer with his ratchet ass. For some more reason, niggas still trying to jack his swag. A cool denim rip jacket with the matching pants. I'm clean in my white teeth. Galactic C50 covers the Earth Realm. These people asked me if I'm competent, asked them, did they know that? So now that they didn't all, all of the elders, they, they see what's up. They know what's going on. Now we got to convince the grassroots, but we can't fear the opposition or the pushback because sometimes that's how they're going to learn. They're going to push back because they've been taught a certain way. The ones of us that get it, we we ain't explaining it to the ones that don't. And the ones who get it have been through such harsh con conditions, they're scared to go out for fear of being called insane. Explain it. The reason why it looked like it's galactic things going on and earth things, because it cycles within cycles. As above, so below, one mimics the other. It's a wrap. <laughs> The only thing that's missing is grassroots awareness that the problem is resolved. They didn't close down the borders. They changing over government in real time. And none of us ain't paying no attention. So we don't know. And ain't nobody telling nobody. Just disasters that you can't get trained to handle disasters and you ain't never been through one. You got to experience it. FEMA was a fuck up in all of them catastrophes because they had to get the training from somewhere. What if the whole thing was a disaster at the same time? So if you don't know what the continuity of government documents say, and you don't know what the Indigenous Rights Act of 2017 say, and you don't know about Trump re, uh, going to get our gold certificate on our wealth back from the Philippines, he also closed down the Federal Reserve and the IRS. And you don't know none of this stuff. You just going to be going along to get along with a system. But everywhere I just told you, you can go check it out. You ain't got to believe me. Some of us is fighting with guns to stay on the plantation. We coming that hard to stay on the plantation. We don't want to give up massa. That's the sad part. They come out against the ones that know what's going on and the ones that almost know, they they trick them to take sides with them. I'm, I'm only having disputes with the righteous Moors who was misled because they gonna defend that shit. The dirty Moors gonna go sit down and shut the fuck up because the only ones gonna speak up right now was the good Moors anyway. All the dirty Moors is in the background talking about, oh shit, the gig is up. We caught red handed in our red shoes and in our KKK hoods. You know what's up. The good Moors, not so much. And the goodness in them gonna make them defend what they believe, even if it's dogma. They weaponize you against yourself. That's why I be saying people sold out and didn't even get a dime for it. Cause they don't know no better. Ignorance costs way more than you would ever give credit for. But some say ignorance is bliss for a damn fool. Bell Isle is a ritual place that we used to go to before they separated Canada from America. But it, we would have a big feast on the island and we would come by boat. We didn't have a bridge and flat boat. Right on over there to the island and we barbecue and we dance and we laugh, tell jokes, all that stuff. The acoustics 
was so great on the island in the spot where we used to stand and sing. They built an amphitheater down there. The feathers of the great thunderbirds stomp and they stomp and they do it in sections. It sounds like the, the, the thunder is rolling across the ground. You can literally feel the energy of the sound. The sound waves move across the ground. Why we made it, what we was doing with the ceremony, they don't know that. And they can't go pull up a book that tell them, but we can read it in that hieroglyphics down there. Just like I wrote it, when I wrote it. You wanna hear something funny? The, the American government told the aliens, y'all violating the contracts and the treaties we signed. And they all, the aliens bust out laughing and says, y'all never honored the treaty. We, we didn't expect y'all to honor ours. <laughs> So while we sitting here, you know, bickering back and forth about linguistics, drop the word, drop all the language. Organic to the land is as simple as you can put it. Either you from the land or you ain't, and the land gonna tell on you if you ain't, cause it's gonna suck your ass up. And then it's gonna spit you out. We know where they at. We know how they operate and we know what they done. We know how they operate and we know what they done. They all got caught red-handed. They were so greedy they couldn't they couldn't unball their fifth to get their hand out the cookie jar. No matter what culture overlay our culture, our culture is gonna tell a different story no matter what story they tell. Our culture tell us that some people came here that looked like us, that wasn't us, masquerading as us. They brought some people that didn't look like us, passed them off as us, told us we came on slave ships and that we were slaves and that we never accomplished anything in life so they can kill our self-esteem and make us surrender our land by being imbeciles and lost the clothes of the age. We, we gonna make them prove it because they gonna keep contracting with us. Even after we dead and gone, they gonna bring us back to life every time. Even after we dead and gone, they gonna bring us back to life every time. A resurrected contract. And they swore up and down this is how our culture read what's taking place. Now, one of the chiefs will ever remember that he was from this land and that all of us would believe we came on them slave ships. The culture is telling me what no slave ships because my ancestors left it in the written word. We didn't see any ships. We didn't see any ships. So the invader wrote it off as cognitive dissonance. So, Ain't nobody else gonna try to figure it out, so I might as well give it a try. But here's the problem. In the galactic law, they gotta give us the opportunity to discover what they are doing to us. But they don't have to tell us directly. They can use fact or fiction. They can cover it with any lies as they want to, long as they give us the opportunity to discover the deception and expose it to the public. Anytime we become competent to the point of exposing the full deception and we successfully get the public to understand how they was deceived, that's when we reach critical mass to shift our, our power in our direction. It's all about getting the word out that this shit is over and that the chiefs of the land and reclaim the land from the, the, the facto corporation that was parked here as an interim government. They gone. Fortunately for us, we have uh, people that have laid foundations of organization that we can benefit from. We can benefit from the gang structures in our community if we use them like tribes. They used and weaponized us against each other. But all they did was made us pissed off seeing each other fall to the point where one of us gonna figure it out and then we gonna unravel a puzzle. Anytime they tried to establish the truth, the FBI used to dress up like a rival gang and, and start it all back up. All they is is tribes, we just trying to live our life in peace and harmony like the next individual. You ain't better than me and I ain't better than you. You got a right to bleed whatever you want under your own vine and fig tree. And you got a right to bleed whatever you want under your own vine and fig tree. And you got a right to stay out the fuck of my business under my vine and fig tree, right? If you respect mine, I respect yours. Anything detrimental to our people, we have to expose it and tear that shit apart.
even if it hurt our own feelings. When I found out this is a chess game we playing, a fifth dimensional chess game. Shit, they know they in checkmate. They got this black knight looking right down their goddamn throat and there's nothing they can do about it. Look up the stuff I'm saying. All this shit verifiable. This is not no um, top secret shit. It's top secret shit. It's just that it's not common that people would pay this close of attention. When I was a little boy, they said, if you want to hide something from a nigga, put it in the book. I said, that that's not, I must not be a nigga. I said, that that's not, I must not be a nigga. Because I can't, I, I'm a fan. I don't care if it's in the book. I got a knack for, for figuring shit out. My mama used to make me do puzzles when I was a baby. My mama used to make me do puzzles when I was a baby. She was preloading me to put the puzzle together. Purposely lose her keys and then send for me to come find them so she can preload me that I'm be looking in tight places for hard shit to find. I'm paying attention at two years old, but they don't know I'm paying attention, right? So I crashed my intellect when I was six so they'll never know how smart I am. They gotta figure it out. So they put me in special ed while I was in school, except told my mama, I don't know what's wrong with him. We don't think he's gonna ever learn anything, right? But I didn't dissect it, they Einstein, ripped apart they Stephen Hawkins. I didn't roto rooter they motherfucking um, uh, Nikola Tesla. All he did is mimic you. That's where his 369 frequency of the universe come from the uterus. So, and I know what I'm talking about. For us, I wouldn't be saying shit because I don't speak about shit I don't know. If I ain't sure, I won't mention it. And if you asked me about it before, I'm sure I ain't got no problem saying I don't know. Everything was passed through the mother line, all of the wealth. And if the matriarch is restored, it unlocks the wealth because it unlocks the mother line. They got to call me to get, to get them out because they don't want to be here no more than we want them here. <clears throat> the status symbol was based on personal character traits. That's how come you don't have no big eyes and no little you. Because we find value in what everybody's contribution is to the collective. Different value systems compete. You can even see them competing in the neighborhood where some of the women will take one child and make them gold over the rest of them. But then you got other sisters that treat them, nope. I'm your your son gonna get the same ass whooping his mind when I catch him doing being bad. If you don't want him over here, don't bring him because he's gonna get what my son get. So you got those sisters that follow in the culture. If me and your child are together and they do something and I catch them first, I discipline them both. Takes a village to raise a child. They don't believe in that shit. They believe my mama and my daddy the only one could tell me something. And I call my mama to fuck, beat you up if you say something. And that's why it plays out in the white privileged society. Everybody is doing their part, but they don't know they're doing it. They disgrace all of the divine feminine goddesses. Mary of Magdalene was Mary the Magdala, or the creator. Her, her manifestations was rapid. She, she had mastered her lower nature, and only her highest goodness can shine through as creative energy. So they got to make her into a whore in order for you not to even give a shit about her backstory or even look into the meaning of her name. So all of the goddesses was replaced under Enlil with some masculine gender. The pharaohs wasn't the men, the pharaohs was the women. All of the political willings and dealings is done in the back by the women. That's the power base. Find those who have put in the work, done the, the, the uh, suffering for the clarification of the wisdom. Because by all that suffering, all it's doing is polishing your wisdom lenses. Instead of coals, now you got diamond eyes. Angel eyes, what they call it. Because you can see through the prism of the prison. You can see the full details of what's going on, not just the surface of it. You're looking at things from a holographic angle. 
which is closer to holistic than looking at it from a linear, which is tied to logic. So when your mother brain kick in, your abstract right brain, your anterior gyrus light up, and your pituitary gland starts to recede, third eye vision, right? And you know what your body is capable of and how it works and increases your ability to use it. So I tell you that your pineal gland, it gets a magnifier through your anterior gyrus. You it's the receiver of any and all spiritual information. Your direct link to the superconscious. Your direct link to the superconscious, the universal mind. So now you can control your download by focusing on certain parts of the brain and activating them at will instead of letting them just happen when they happen. You're going to get the download but it might come at an inopportune time because you don't want to listen. That's why we meditate, train ourselves to listen. Everybody's so busy praying, which is talking. You don't even know what the answer is. You still asking for the same shit. You know that you got it when you feel like, oh, I got it. <laughs> you getting spiritual messages because your family line are the ones who get spirit messages through dreams, you're more likely to have this experience. These dreams seem more realer than your 3D life. Why, why you in them? And when you wake up, you find yourself saying like, that was more real than real. So all of the dreams that serve different purposes, but we used to be able to do this wide awake before they crashed the fourth dimension into the third, it condensed our energy and turned off a lot of our DNA. We gotta become aware of who we are to the point where we don't need a term to define who we are. We know that we from the earth and we've already been here. We know that we from the earth and we've already been here. We come on no goddamn ships. We are here through projections of our creative collective. And what happens is we condense a environment that we call the universe. And we get to do this with other guys doing it in other places as well, right? And we become aspects of ourselves in order to manifest the creation. Tomorrow not here, we gotta create it. The whole creation is a projection of our collective unconscious. Working together in the conscious world, we come in to look for the flaws, the defects to fix. It's like a, uh, like a disease, somebody came from somewhere else that didn't belong here and superimposed their creative um, system onto our creative system and then tried to take over ours in uh, what they call host capacity. Now, a lot of that complicated unless you understand sci-fi. Sci-fi do all kinds of uh, space shows to show you how it works. You get more truthful information out of a sci-fi movie than you can from a documentary. So now they letting you know, that's the proverbial turning on the global light switch. Wake up, earthlings, we here. Now, we become ignorant to it and looking at it in hindsight, you can see all of the things that was able to take place under the cloak. And they don't know why I gotta move, but I'm moving to Houston next week. And I don't know why I gotta move, but I decided I'm gonna move to New York next week. I'm gonna move to uh, New Jersey in a month. They on the move, they on the move. But they don't know why they moving. Everybody got to go to their homeland. The land got to call you back where you belong at the close of the age. That's why I say if you ain't from the land, it's going to tell on you. Walk away from it. Abandon it. When you discovered you was being held party to a criminal action, you abandoned the action. We go, we go all the way across the land. Wherever we at, that's where we at. Look, in our blood is iron right our dna is loaded with data 
The Earth has something called an electromagnetic grid. Birds follow the migration pattern that they driven by the electromagnetic grid vibrating frequencies, right? There's certain frequencies that vibrate um, through the earth and tell us where we supposed to be at any given time of our life. We can uh, go with the spirit of the earth or we can go against it, it's our free will. But it's always a notification when you are not following your chosen path and you about to make an error. You come in with a set of instructions of what to correct on earth as a creator God. You have to know how to follow the path to get the training in order to perform the function. You can't tell the people how to get free if you don't know where to trap at. So you tell the people clearly where to find it at. You presume to know, which is worse than not knowing at all. You mislead, you lead people astray by accident, but it's your fault because you wanted the guts and glory, but you didn't want to put in the work to be worthy. And then when you see somebody that put in the work to get worthy, you get frustrated and jealous because you think that they just popped up out of nowhere. Never, never knowing that I've been studying my whole life for this shit. I was studying like a bad runaway college student with a whole bottle of, uh, what's that stuff that you riddling, right? I didn't know why I was studying like that. I got a job. I work eight, 12 hours a day studying at work. If they're not gonna pay me what I work in dollars, they gotta give it to me in education. They put me in prison, you know what I did? Read everything they had in their library and their law library. I ain't know why I was doing it at the time, now I know. I'm just here for the family. These whole, all of the clans, the extended family. Firstborn of the earthborn. Big brother back to take it all back. You can either be with the progress or you can go ahead and continue to struggle. The choice is yours. Ain't nobody making nobody believe. Nothing nobody say. Past trying to wake motherfuckers up now. We at the point now where you can take it or leave it, accept it or don't. I'm going to point out the deception. It don't mean that some of the best of us wasn't deceived at some point. They think that only some people can be deceived while they in the middle of a deception.